Hi, and thanks for checking out this video on Adobe InDesign CC, which I've been using since it first came out a long time ago. I'm a qualified teacher. I'm an Adobe ACI. I've got five books in print. I've got the ACE qualification in these three programs. And this is my own company, tunnelvisionltd.co.uk. If you go to that website, you'll find links to the full course on Udemy and Skillshare and lots of other stuff. And I hope you like it. And if you do, please sign up. In this video, I'm going to show you how to renumber part of your document. So, as is quite often the case, I've got a 16-page document here, but they've all got page numbering icons on them. How about if I wanted to treat this as if it was the beginning section of a book? So page 1 might be the title page, and page 2 the half title, page 3 copyright page, page 4 table of contents, none of which would have a page number on them. Then I've got the author's intro, pages 5, 6, and 7, actually need to become Roman numerals I, 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 I. Page 8 is blank, and page 9 needs to be renumbered as page 1 because it's where chapter 1 begins. Now I usually start as far into the document as I need because if I changed page 5 to Roman numeral 1, I, then the rest of the document will become Roman numerals and I might not be able to easily find what page 9 used to be. So I'm going to start with page 9. So I'll double click on it and that tells InDesign I want to deal with page 9. Page 1 is already the beginning of a section and a section means you can redefine the numbering at that point. So now I'll start a new section on page 9 which will allow me to redefine the numbering there. The next thing is go to the Layout menu, and then down to Numbering and Section Options. And in this window, yes, I want to start a section, but I've already got automatic page numbering. I don't need it. So instead, I'm going to click on Start Page Numbering at 1. A lot of people make the mistake of changing that to a 9. Well, if you do that, the 9 isn't going to change. Leave it at 1. Now, as soon as I click OK, InDesign's going to say, you've already got a page one in this document. Are you sure you want another? Yes. OK. And page nine becomes page one. Not only here on the screen, but up here in the pages window as well. Now I can go to page five by double clicking on it. And again, I want to define a new numbering sequence here, Roman numerals. So I'll go to the layout menu down to Numbering and Section Options. And as before, Start Section, yes. Automatic Page Numbering, no. Start Page Numbering at 1. But down here in the Page Numbering area, I've got different options for what kind of numbers to use. And there are two for Roman numerals, upper and lower case. Well, the Romans didn't use lower case, so I'm not going to either. I'll use upper case. So it's going to be I, 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 V, and so forth. As soon as I click OK, page 5 becomes I, followed by I, 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 I. Unfortunately, though, page 8 is now I, V. I don't want a number on page 8. I don't want a number on page 1 or 2 and 3 or 4 either. So how do I deal with that? It's actually very easy. You just click on 1 once. You don't need to double click. Then you hold down the shift key and click on 4. And then you hold down the command or the control key and click on what used to be page 8, Ivy. You can cherry pick by holding down command or control. Having selected all the pages that I want to delete the page numbering from, I'll hold down the alt key and click on the word none. And that applies the none master simultaneously to all those pages and you can see the A disappears from the top corner. The None Master page cannot hold any information at all, so all of these pages are now blank, like that. It's no longer Ivy. It's the blank page opposite the beginning of Chapter 1. So that's how you can add different numbering sequences in a single document. 
So thanks again for stopping by, and I hope that video was really helpful to you. And please do check out my website, www.tunnelvisionltd.co.uk, and let me know what you thought. Bye for now.